Mendez here, another one of our how-tos. This one's how to turn your boat. We've got a lovely single engine boat. Lots of people always comment that we do lots of twin engines and bow and stern thruster stuff. We've just got a little single engine boat here. How to turn it in a relatively confined space and we've got some tide. Now the space is not tiny but uh, you'll get the idea. So earlier in the series you, we did one on ferry gliding. We're going to use a little bit of that technique because there's a bit of tide in there as well. And then we're going to turn using the whole space, give you an idea of something that makes it a wee bit easier. Okay, we haven't got an awful lot of wind today, but we've got a nice bit of tide or current, because we're on a river here, coming through our set of pontoons. And we're out here in the main channel. We're going to work our boat across using a technique of ferry gliding. And as we get closer to the bank, the amount of tide will decrease. Uh, flows less in shallow water. So what we're going to do is ferry glide initially, and then we're going to drive it into the hole, and then bring the bow up, this is our safe side where the wind and the tide are both coming from, bring the bow up nice and close and obviously when we're there we're nicely balanced, that gives us time to think, bring the bow through the elements and then drive her back out again and as we come out we'll just bring the bow back up again to our safe position. So we're going to start from a safe position, ferry glide and drive in, spin, ferry glide and drive out. So I've positioned myself nicely up at the safe side of the aisle and we're just starting to let the bow come round to port. So we're going to put the wheel over the port and a click ahead, just to give me a nice steep angle into the aisle. Now, if I had no tide, I could drive pretty much straight down the aisle with perhaps just a mini starboard bias. But here I'm going to let the boat effectively take a quite a steep ferry glide down the aisle. Nice little bit of tide, and you'll see the boat's tracking this way. I'm actually going in that direction, even though the boat is pointing that way. And that's exactly what I want. Tiny click, so I just keep my transit. I've got a nice blue hose and a green hedge up there, and that's just allowing my boat to track down the centre of the aisle, even though in reality, I'm pointing at these boats. Now this is my safe side, so any turn that I do up towards them, it's gonna make it nice and safe. Additionally, as I get further into the aisle, there's much less tide. So we're getting close to where I feel I'd like to turn. All the berths are full, so I can't actually berth here at all. So we're all the way over to starboard. It'll click ahead. And because I'm pushing up towards that safe side, I've got all the time in the world. There's no great rush. I can see up there a couple of meters on the bow, nice and close, but I'm quite safe. The momentum's naturally stopping. Now I'm gonna put the wheel all the way over the port. Nice little click astern, and that'll just a, take my boat away from those if I get too close. B, it's given me the space now to wheel back to starboard and that nice little click ahead. And I'm going to adopt pretty much the same angle to go out. And you can see the tide running out quite nicely there. But it's not a danger to us because we've got the boat balanced, boat ferry gliding up at the safe side, nice control. So we're just going to literally let the boat do the work. Here, as we're starting to pick up more tide coming out of the aisle, just gently giving us a little bit more momentum so that as we're coming out, still going in that direction and just very gently in and out of gear, just giving that little bit of forward momentum to keep our transit. I can see my transit behind, still nicely on the safe side. As I come back out, I can then bring my wheel back over to port one little click round and that will bring me out into the elements nice and safe. 